I was once in a hotel uh, doing a gig and I arrived an hour early and the gig was running an hour late and the woman who's my liaison met me and she goes, we've got a two hour gap. And she gives me her room key and she goes, go up to my room, you can sit up there, you can watch television, whatever. And I went up to the room and I sat and I watched Shaun of the Dead, as far as I remember, for a couple of hours. And then, about, then there's a knock on the door and they bring me down to do the gig, right? And after I'd finished the gig, your one comes out again and she goes, listen, I have a spare key. Um, you can just take that key, go up to the room and get your stuff and go. You don't have to come back down again. And I went, that's brilliant, thank you very much. And I left, right? And I went back to the room. Now, in the time I had been gone, the turndown team had been into the room. You familiar with the work of the turndown team? <laughs> Few of you are, okay, grand. Now, for those of you who are less familiar, right, the young men here, you, you probably haven't done that much hotel. The turndown, you know chambermaids, you know about chambermaids, then I presume, right? Chamber, okay, chambermaids, around 11 o'clock in the morning, will come into the hotel room, and they'll clean up the bathroom, and they'll clean everything around, and they'll make the bed, and they'll get the duvet and the sheet, and they'll tuck them underneath the mattress, and they'll go around, and they'll do it at the back, and they'll do it the other side, and they'll do a good job at it. And then you come back to the hotel room about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, midnight, after the wedding or the dinner, whatever you're at, and you try to get into the bed. <laughs> but there's no way that this mattress is going to yield the new vein. You're tugging furiously at the thing, going, Jesus, I can't get into this thing. And you're lying on top of the bed going, what kind of feckin' envelope have I rented for myself tonight? This is ridiculous, I can't get into the damn thing, this is a nightmare. And you slide the one arm in just to feel the good of the cotton against your skin. You go, oh my God, that feels fantastic. Jesus, if I could just get into the bed, I'd be the happiest man in the world. You know that? I mean, I'd be thrilled to get into the bed. But you can't. So you have the one arm in, you're on top of the bed, you're trying to sleep that way, but then you go that way and it goes, all goes wrong. And then the next morning, you go down to the manager and he goes, how did you sleep? And you go, well, my arm. My arm slept fantastically. It's the best night's sleep my arm has ever had. The rest of me is in feckin' spasm at this stage, yeah. So they invented the turn down team, who were like night chambermaids, who come around to the room at nine o'clock at night, and who like loosen up the duvet, and who loosen the sheet, and who get the whole ball rolling on the whole going to bed process, right? <laughs> and they fluff up the pillows, and they're the ones who put a mint on each pillow, because that's what you want, just as you're going to sleep. <laughs> just a little injection of sugar into your bloodstream, just to <laughs> kick the whole journey to the land of not off, yeah? In really good hotels, lads, they rack up a line of cocaine on the table beside the bed. <laughs> so you're able to go, time for bed now? <laughs> I had the misfortune once of being in a hotel room at about eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night once, and there's a knock on the door, and I open the door, and there's a woman there, middle-aged woman, in a chambermaid's outfit with a trolley, and she looks at me and goes, turn down team? And I'd heard all those words, but never, like, in that context, in that order, right? And I was genuinely didn't know what... Part of me thought I was supposed to go, turn down tea, yeah! <laughs> and then we'd link up like a crime-fighting unit, and we'd travel across the hotel turning down crime, yeah! <laughs> but I couldn't be entirely sure that that's what she meant. <laughs> so to play it safe, I just went, yeah. And the woman walks into the room, right? And now I'm on the back foot, there's a woman walking into the room. She turns and she starts walking into the room and I'm walking beside her and she walks into the room going, what's going on here exactly? What have I said yesterday? What, what, what exactly are we doing here? And as we walk along, we, we seem to be walking directly towards the bed. And I'm going, what service exactly have I agreed to from this woman here? This is a bit weird now. And we're walking across the room and then she bends over the bed, which doesn't make me feel any more comfortable about the whole situation, and just pulls down the duvet and then turns to me and goes, good night, and then walks out again. <laughs> and I'm left bereft in the middle of the bedroom, going, what in the name of Christ just happened? <laughs> and I was puzzling over it, and then I thought, oh my God, that's her job, that's what she does. She does, oh my God, how did I look to her? I must have looked like the worst kind of rich, middle-class prick. <laughs> and she arrives at this door to do this stupid job. And she and knocks on the door, and I open, she goes, turn down, team. And I essentially went, yes. <laughs> Get in here now. <laughs> I am too powerful and lazy to take my own duvet cover down. <laughs> you shall do it for me. <laughs> and not only will I make you do this, I shall walk with you to the bed. <laughs> I shall accompany you on the long commute from the door over to the bed, and I shall judge your work. <laughs> Do not take the duvet down too far. I do not wish the bed to be naked. <laughs> Get out. Get out. 
So when I got back to the room that time, the turn down team had been in, right? And they'd done all their bits and bobs and done the whole thing, right? And, uh, and they'd taken the duvet down and done the sheet and they fluffed up the pillows and out were the mints and the whole thing. And they weren't still there, they were gone, right? So I'm looking around the transformed room going, all right, they've been in. And then I noticed they'd done a thing which I have never seen done by a in any hotel room in the world ever, right? They had gone through this woman's stuff. They had found the most f intimate items she had. Her pyjama, her little cami pyjama top and her cotton pyjama bottom. And they had built something, a shape. They had made them into a thing on the bed. <laughs> and you're looking at this going, oh, what the hell is that, right? <laughs> now, I mean a three-dimensional thing. I don't mean like they'd lain them out like a crime scene, flat on the bed. <laughs> this is where the woman was murdered. <laughs> They had built like an origami thing with them. And you're circling around and going, what in the net? Oh my God, it's a bird. <laughs> they had made a bird out of our underwear and put it on the bed. <laughs> it was the single creepiest thing I'd ever seen in my life. It looked like the kind of thing a serial killer called the pheasant might be. <laughs> I am the pheasant. I can get into who you, wherever you are, I can find you. And now I will leave the pheasant to prove that I was there. I am the pheasant. And I'm looking at this thing going, that's just wrong. That's just, ugh, I hate that. That's a bit intrusive and a bit intimate. Ugh, I'm out of here. And I picked up my stuff to leave, right? And the thought struck me. I've never seen that done in any hotel room in the world ever. So there's a pretty good chance that the woman whose room this is has also never seen that done in any hotel room in the world ever. And she is naturally going to presume <laughs> that in the two hours I had to kill before the gig, the only thing I could think to do to make the time go faster was go through her stuff, find the frilliest, delicate, most intimate items of clothing she had, and then make a fucking duck with them on the bed. <laughs> this is what I made for you. Do you like this? See the way I made a beak out of the gusset? Do you like that? Yeah. And I'm looking at this thing going, this is going to finish my career. <laughs> this word here is a vulture for my comedy career. That is going to end it. If word gets out that this is what I like to do if I'm left alone in somebody's room. Because <laughs> people would ring her and go, did you use Darren Breen for that gig? And she'd go, yeah. And they'd go, was he funny? She said, that's not important. Let me tell you what he's really like. <laughs> and that's it. I don't work again, right? I'm looking at this thing going, that's going to I've, I've got to do something about that. Obviously, your initial reaction is take the bird apart. Rip the bird apart, flatten it out, put it away somewhere. But then I thought, no, A, don't touch the thing, and B, I don't know where she took it from. I don't know if it was in a drawer, in a cupboard, in, a, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the kitchen. What if I put it in the wrong place? What if I take her stuff and end up hiding it on her? Surely that's even worse, that she comes back and I've created an underwear treasure hunt of some description. <laughs> She's tearing the room apart, trying to find her stuff, and then the phone rings and it's me going, getting warmer. <laughs> So I do the only, the only thing I can do, I walk down to tell her I didn't do that. And I pick up my bags and I walk through the hotel, through the crowd, going higher, 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 trying to find this woman who's at the far corner of the room, surrounded by senior people from her company. Grey-haired, middle-aged, middle management men going, well done, Mary, that was an excellent event, congratulations, it all went very well. And she's there going, thank you very much, thank you very much. I'm enjoying this significant moment in her corporate career that I burst into thinking, I'll be quick. And I just burst into the circle, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hiya. She goes, hi. And I go, listen, I just wanted you to know I didn't make a swan out of your knickers, all right? <laughs> and then walked off going, well, that'll settle that. That's good, isn't it? I've got that settled up there. Hi, this is Dara Breen. This is my YouTube channel, so subscribe and like to get more funny clips.